long time no see. It's me, Garrick, and my great friend who is turning right now and ambassador alum, Blake Bell. Hey, everyone! And we are in the great state of Utah. Utah! And we just got coffee for like three hours. Three hours, and it was so great. It was great. And, um,. Blake was actually my ambassador, which basically means before I came to Viola or ever committed, he called me, not knowing me, just randomly, and said, hey man, and then we just hit it off, and here we are two or three years later down the road, and we're getting coffee in one of our favorite places, and vibes. Vibes. I called Garrick as... Uh, an ambassador and he was an inquiry student which means that he had probably only just written his name on a piece of paper at some college fair and so I called him and he was one of the few students who answered and we hit it off because he has family in Utah and I am from Utah and so we hit it off and it was great and then he came to Biola and then we're buddies so best pals so uh, so a note to all you students who are who are getting calls from ambassadors, just be good buddies with them because then you could end up going to Utah and drinking coffee. Yeah, and we're really friendly and not intimidating. And we're also not as cool as we look, if we look cool, I don't know if we look cool. That's true. The Instagram. Social media portrays uh, versions of people that are different. Sometimes you just, okay. So not on, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. Go team. Go team. Uh, back to the, the vlog. Back to the vlog. See ya. <laughs> hey everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed that last clip. Um, me connecting with Blake who had this job a few years ago. Um, it's crazy to think that we're friends now and hang out together in different states. Uh, it's a crazy world. Uh, anyways, I wanted to... Um, kind of transition and show you guys um, if there's anyone watching who's interested in our CMA program which stands for cinema and media arts uh, I took a few clips of our uh, production center which is where most of the film students study uh, we have plenty of editing bays and uh, yeah state-of-the-art facility uh, equipped with a ton of stuff so uh, up next you're gonna see the highlights from that and I'll kind of explain more of what that looks like here we go so there are a lot of reasons why the production center is so special. One, it's open 24 hours a day, which means uh, whether night or day, you can come in uh, and work on anything that you might need. Uh, you can access any of the editing bays, studios, which are all equipped with state-of-the-art um, software, such as the Adobe Suite um, to edit on. Also, throughout the day, there are certain hours where you can access camera gear, lighting, microphones. Um, our equipment room is valued at $3 million in gear uh, in total, uh, which is really, really unique. Um, it's a 10,000 square foot facility, which is really amazing. Gives you a lot of space to uh, collaborate, which is awesome. And overall, it's just a really great environment to, again, hone in on your craft and really figure out the type of storytelling you are. So if you're considering the CMA program, um, I would highly recommend to check out our website. Uh, you can get a virtual tour. Uh, just some of these shots I took of also a CMA friend, Tanner, um, who was willing to kind of be my model for this project. But as you can see, the department is beautiful and hopefully you'll get a chance to uh, visit it or potentially study in it one day if that interests you. So thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for the next vlog, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.